Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn your Linux server or Linux device into a fully functioning web server. Hey what's up guys my name is Kimofly and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install LAMP or Linux Apache MySQL PHP server onto your Linux device and turn it into a web server. Now we're going to be running these commands through the terminal of our Linux device and as you can see I'm on a Windows PC I'm not on a Linux device so I'm going to be using an SSH client called Bitwise to run these commands. What I like about Bitwise which is better than other SSH clients is that it also has FTP so I can remotely view all the files that are on my device. So I'll have a link to Bitwise down below in the description and without further ado let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is log in to your terminal or open the terminal if you're on the device and I'm gonna log in using my Windows PC. I'm doing this all on my Raspberry Pi but this should work on any other device so I'm just gonna log into my SSH client right now and accept for this session and as you can see this is the SFTP client that they have with the SSH client which is really cool allows me to access and manage all the files here and I could minimize that and here's the actual terminal which we're going to be using to install LAMP. So I have a notepad file that already has a bunch of commands that we're going to be running. We only need to run these four commands but I will show you how you can install WordPress at the end which is completely optional. You can do it if you want and what we're going to be doing is running these commands one by one. First one we're going to install Apache but before we do any of that we're going to run sudo apt get update to make sure our device is up to date and I'll just fast forward through this. And once that's done we're going to want to run sudo apt get upgrade which will install all the updates. And once those two commands are done running, we can finally start installing LAMP. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get this command here to install Apache. So let me just copy that and right click to paste and hit enter. And it's just going to install Apache right now. And once Apache is done installing, we can proceed on to the next step. So we're going to be installing PHP onto our device right now. So let's just go copy paste that in and hit enter. And after PHP is done installing we can proceed to install MySQL. So let's copy paste this command as well. And during the MySQL installation you'll get this pop up asking you to create a password for the MySQL user. I'm just going to write password for my password and we're going to repeat it. And I don't recommend you write password I'm just doing it for this tutorial because I'm going to wipe that device clean right after I'm done. That's the only reason that I wrote password as the password. And now that MySQL is installed we can run the command to finally restart Apache. So let's copy and paste this line of code and go back to our terminal window, paste it in and Apache will restart. Now that Apache has restarted we can open up our web browser. I'm going to open up Chrome and type in your device's IP address into the bar. If you don't know what your device's IP address is then you can type in hostname dash i that's for the Raspberry Pi and it's going to tell you your device's local IP address and you could type that in and if you're on the device you could just type in localhost. I'm gonna copy that and paste it here and visit it. And as we can see we have Apache 2 Debian default page. And I'm running Grasbian on my Raspberry Pi which is based off of Debian operating system. Now we're done installing LAMP onto our Raspberry Pi. Now if you want you can also proceed and install WordPress. And there's one thing that you're gonna have to make sure before you install WordPress. So go into your directory. So go into your main directory into your home directory or even before your home directory, there's going to be a folder created that's named var, var, open it up, and there should be a folder named www there, so go ahead and open that up, and depending on your operating system and device, you might have an HTML folder, or you might not have an HTML folder, if you have one then that's completely fine, if you don't have one that's also fine, but you're just going to need to change up the command a little bit here. 
So if you do have an HTML folder, then you can run this command with HTML in it. And if you don't have an HTML folder, then you're going to want to erase slash HTML from it. But I have an HTML folder there. So I'm going to go to the directory in my terminal. So now as you can see, I'm in my HTML folder. And we're going to delete all the files there using the remove command. And we're just going to paste that in here. And it should have deleted every file in that directory. And we're going to install the WordPress compressed archive file. So paste that in. And it will install WordPress. And just to verify it deleted all the files, let's go over here and reload this. And as you can see, everything is gone except the file we just downloaded. So as you can see, the WordPress file install is done. Now we're going to run this command to extract it. And let's just paste that in there. And once it's been extracted, we can actually reload our website here. And we're going to see that we have WordPress here, but it's in the slash WordPress folder. And we want it on the main folder on the main home directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it out of that slash WordPress folder and move it into the HTML folder or the www folder, whichever one it is. So just run that command and we're going to delete the dot zip that we also downloaded. And now that the WordPress folder is empty, we're just going to delete that as well. And once we're done running that command, we're going to pass over ownership of that folder to the Apache user. So just run this command and just wait a minute. And once that's done, we're going to be setting up WordPress. And of course, we need a database and we haven't created a database. So we're going to need to run this MySQL command here. And MySQL-Uru-P. And then it's going to ask you to enter the password. My password was password. And as we can see, we're in the MySQL part of the terminal now. And we're going to run this command to create a database named WordPress. So we're going to get this message, uh, query OK, one row affected, zero seconds, or it might be a few seconds for you, depending on your connection. And now we can exit by typing exit or press control D on our keyboard. And we're out of the MySQL. And we have just one more thing to do. And this is going to make permalinks easier for WordPress. But before we run these few commands, we're going to go ahead and reload our page and set up WordPress. So as you can see, WordPress is right here. We're just going to continue. Let's go. Database name WordPress. Username is root. Password is password and it's on the local host for that device and hit submit. Run the install. And site title, site title will be test. Admin. Password and we can hit install and WordPress will get installed automatically. So WordPress has been installed so you can just hit login and login with username admin and password if that's what your password was. Just wait for it to finish loading up. And as you can see, we are in our WordPress dashboard. And if we visit our website, we can see it's right here. But if we create a post or if we go to a blog post that's right here, you can see the permalinks aren't really that nice. The links don't look nice at all. So what we can do to change that is go over to settings, permalinks and post name. And then scroll down and hit save. And we're also going to need to run another command in the terminal to make sure that these changes are allowed. So run sudo a2 e and mod rewrite into our terminal. And hit enter. And we can restart Apache now. So let's just restart Apache. And... If you get this, don't worry, it's completely fine. You could just restart your machine and Apache will restart. 
but it's not a big deal. Run the command for opening up this file. You can, I use nano, sudo nano, you could use whatever text editor you like, and then copy these three lines right here. Just copy them, and in your terminal, just go down and paste them under the first line, which should say virtual host star colon 80, and then save that. Y enter. And once that's been saved, we can go over to our WordPress homepage and go back to our homepage right now and scroll down to our post. So run sudo service apache restart instead of service apache restart. And once that's been done, just go ahead and save this one more time just to make sure it takes effect. And here we go. As we can see, our permalinks have been updated. Now we can see that instead of that long text, we can just have slash hello world. And that's really all you need to do. Now you can use an FTP client to upload files to your local server and really mess around, do whatever you want on this. That's just how you install LAMP server and WordPress onto your home PC or Linux server. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I taught you something new. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up down below. With that being said, my name is Kimofi, and I'll see you in the next one.